my channel today Matt Bells I'm going to do something different I've just found it in uh, Peter's uh, bin bag that he gave me the gifts for the models so I'm going to do railroad track by mini art this should be fun ok guys railroad track Russian gauge 135 scale it's uh, length 714 millimeters not very big but there you go oh No instructions, well this is it, this is the instructions here, here you've got a CA4351253421, you've got to do all them in complete order, and you've got a little little fine detail there, so there you go, and there's the gauge, 8 sprues all together. I thought the sprues were all one. I know this is going to be a bit of a boring one but it's a build that's all I can suggest. So I might have to take them off one at a time. So I want CA4 where's my sprue cutter? CA4 Let's see how many it can do in an hour. spend most of the time sanding so get that one get uh, CA7 get two of these
and a lot of screaming kids on the front. Always make a racket here. And they're out early to be honest with you because they don't normally come out so uh, late on in the day. Because they're normally still in bed. And I've got a train up there. I might put this on if it's the right width. They had notches underneath, I know. I just sanded them off. So all that goes on there like that. So get them off. So what I'll do, I'll just pause the uh, camera while I get all these out and in order because I need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, another 10. So I'll be back shortly. A few moments later. Okay guys, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two of these. Got the glue. Pin vise. Now we're gonna start sticking the tracks onto here. So I better take my glasses off so I can see what I'm doing. And I just hope that my big head doesn't get in the way. So we've got locating pins there. So that's the first well it was. That's the first one on. This is going to be a boring build for years. But it's something to do. And that's two. It's an unusual build, this, must admit. So what I'll do, I'll do this first one first, get these on here, pause camera, and then do the other side. It's finding the notches. Make sure it's straight. You know, I think, well, there again though, I don't know if my train will go on there, because I don't think it's wide enough, but once it's all stuck, I'll find out. Because we've got uh, some other parts to go in. I 
Where's that nipple? There it is. That's it. And make sure that's straight. See me train can go on there. Well, it's a bit breezy today. Very breezy. Second, put it down. Right, uh, what I'm thinking of doing is putting this on now. So I'm going to be careful with these holes here. You have to be careful, you've got visitors in the house. Make sure my partner's grand, great granddaughter doesn't come out because every time I do a video, guaranteed she'll be out, and then I'll have to stop recording. Oops, here she comes. I'm gonna have to stop recording. Be back in a bit, guys. Because when she starts yakking, she can't shut up. A few moments later. I'm really sorry about that, guys. When she starts rabbiting, she can't shut up. <coughs> right, so while she was here, I did this. Bit of a sod to do. <coughs> Tracks kept on coming off. But I got it done, it's secure. Now I've got uh, these two parts here, which will be going on the outside, and these two here, which will be going on the inside. So what I'll do, I'll do the outside first, <coughs> and then get the next set of tracks done. And then I can put the insides in there. So they're the C8s which go on the outside, C9s to go on the inside. So I need to find out how this goes. Yeah, okay. So it goes in one hole each because there's two nipples there. So I'll get that glued in place. Put one there. Yeah, 
that's that flash there stopping it going in. And you've got a bit of flash here, which I can't even get the sprue cutters to go on it. Try that again. So that's gone in. So we'll get the next one on. So if mirror keeps going in the way. before but you still seem to get flash on them so this goes in here like so so that's them in place Needs a bit more glue on that, I didn't glue it all the way. Always one that comes out. So I'll just let that stick because the next one will be going onto there. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the next one will be CA4. Sorry about that, guys. My camera went off again. For some unknown reason, it just cut out. Sure, there's a poltergeist in here. Right, I've got all these ready now. Got them all ready, so uh, you didn't have to watch me cut them off. So I'm going to have to be careful. How well, it doesn't really matter which way it goes. If it turn it that way, I can always turn it around. So again, I'm going to go through the same procedure. putting these in the respective places I hope that's in the right place Looks like it is. Just straighten it. Here it's how I straighten it. It bends to one side. So I'll get the next one on and it comes off. Some more glue. Try that one again. Oh. I'll just keep hold of that for a second. I 
it's not going in at all. Never known railway tracks to be so awkward. Right. It's come off. I'm having a major issue here. Right, what we'll do. You're trying to get it in and put it down. put it down, let that stick get the next one so that's stuck no, it hasn't So these mini art models are not uh, really that good to be honest. Let's get this back on before that falls off. Just let that stick for a minute before I put the next one on. Okay, guys, I waited for that to stick and I just hope it stays stuck while I get the others on now. So I'll just take my glasses off again. I'm only doing these here. I'm not really doing all of it, just enough for me train, if it'll go on, that is. Even though it looks crooked, but the more tracks you get on, the straighter it'll become. I hope. <laughs> Even with these notches on, it's very hard to see if you've got it in the right place. And from the look of that, yeah. I'll get the next one on. And I've got little parts to go either side of the track. Like wedges. Right, starting to straighten up now, slightly. Bits 
see much on there. Just like so. I mean, there is a lot of track, but I'm not using it all. This is just enough for my steam engine. Now, whether it'll go on is another thing because. looks pretty wide this track that's miles out that's it that's not it that's it that isn't That's it. That's perfectly on. And if anyone's done this kind of thing, I'd be glad to hear about it. How you uh, managed it. If it was okay. That looks miles out. Yeah, it's miles out that one. There we go. And it look at it, it looks crooked, but once all the tracks are together, it looks okay. Get in there now. I've got a feeling I might have cut off another piece of track. Well, sleeper. No, I don't. Got enough. sleeper going on. Hope you've been able to see this. Sorry if you haven't. I do apologise. Okay, that's that part done. Now what I need to do is put these together like that, hoping it's straight. 
from the look of it, I think it is a slight bend on it, but not much. So, let's get this glued in. And then we can put the outside connectors on. Ooh, I'm taking my glass off, I need them on for this. Could do some clamps to hold this in place, but I'll just use my fingers for the time being. Always, always one. Right, so that's them joined together. So I'll just let that stick. Then we've got these parts to go in, and then we've got little tiggy parts. Where did he go? Is it the inside or the outside? The outside all the way along the bottom both sides and there you are CA6 which are those little tiny parts here so I need 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20, 40 I need 14 total and I've still got loads of these left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 20 30 40 so we need all them I mean I could put another extension on but actually what I might do while I'm here Let's get me choo choo train. Now, whether this will sit on there, not a chance. No way. Not that again. It has. I think. No. <laughs> the wheels on this. Are too wide. Far too wide. Oh, what a shame. Still, I can put it like that on it. With the wheels on the sleepers. I don't think it makes much difference, to be honest. It's going to stay on there. On the tracks. On the sleepers, it's a shame really, I would have thought that would have gone on properly, but never mind. Shame that, a massive shame. So, so that should have stuck properly now. So what I'll do, I'll get these on, the outsides, get rid of the flash.
I mean, I might do the other tracks off camera, to be honest. So, uh, because it is a long process, not like a, an ordinary build. Right. I hope this doesn't fall apart. That's one on. Tracks come off. Put it on. Put that in there. I'll just keep hold of it a second it to take and there we have it so it's just a little small detail to go in the uh, what's it so I'll do that off camera because it's gonna take quite a while so that is that completed even though it's not I've not done much well that was something different never done a railway trap before and I was hoping my uh, train would have gone on it but the wheels are well over the tracks I thought that had been wide enough or too wide for it but I was wrong but the train can sit on it and what have you uh, I might do the other one, the other track, for it, I don't know yet, because it is a long process just to put some tracks together like that and finding the notches and the holes in the uh, sleepers, that's a pain. But it's an enjoyable build, if you can call it a build, but to me it's a build, it's something to do. Because uh, I didn't know what, what to do so I had to look through the, uh, the bag the gifts that Peter gave me so I thought when I saw that I thought I might as well do it because I've still got um, another there's another four, four in there to do so I'll be getting on to them very soon right so tomorrow with it being Wednesday and whatever my list, the hell my list is well I didn't have it before Oh, there it is. Because I'm going to Betty Market tomorrow. It would have been uh, Peter's Titanic again, but I'm leaving that till Thursday. So I'm going to be doing a couple of the videos on the Enterprise. But it depends what time I get back and how long it'll uh, take to edit the video. Because that can take some time, because I've still got to look through the instructions 
and how that uh, uh, rear elevator, aircraft elevator is going to fit. So that's going to be a bit of a fun build. So with that sticking now, because uh, they'll be priming, priming that <coughs> and it'll be painted. So uh, it won't be done yet because the weather's looking a bit iffy outside so there's not much you can do about it. Also what I did for my next Titanic issue I painted that there and inside so getting all light bleed. It's not tidily painted but no light bleed can get through it. I mean it's quite thick but uh, I don't want to take any chances because you know how light bleed is on models. I mean because someone asked me how I did that one up there. Well what I did with that I primed it first and then I sprayed it white. That stopped the light bleed. Literally stopped it. Now this one is not going to stop the light bleed because we've got one hell of a gap at the front of the bridge deck and again at the rear of the bridge deck. So when you push the front down, down the back end comes up and when you push the back down the front end comes up so we don't know how we're going to sort that out. I think uh, Hachette have made a bit of a boo-boo on this one because we do not want uh, any gaps whatsoever. We need It needs to be flush the deck, the bridge deck, it has to be flush. But anyway, I'll uh, somehow I'll figure something out with that unless you send the instructions how we screw it down but it's how the hell we're going to do it because we've got to get right underneath to secure it. Hmm. Unless I figure out a way. I normally do. Anyway, I'm going to get going guys. Um, I need a cup of tea. I'm parched. So if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for future videos. So until tomorrow guys, y'all stay safe, take care, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.